Hello everyone and welcome to episode 6 of Whitby Guernsey Knit. This episode is really week 6 and 7 in one because uh, we've had our Christmas and New Year and I didn't get enough knitted to use to do a vlog for each week for week 6 and week 7 and it would have just been the um, knitting of the main body which you've seen anyway. So you will be pleased to know, as I am, that I have finally, I think, finally reached my 15 and a half inches uh, to the to begin the gussets. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to knit one final round to check that I have 84 stitches on each of my four needles. Then I'm going to measure that it, the, the main body measures 15 and a half inches. Then I'm going to look at the pattern and see how I begin the gusset and start to do some Whitby patterns or patterns for the next part up to the shoulders. So I'm going to press pause and I will get back to you. So I've placed the jersey on the table and I just want to show you my final round if I can do it without getting into a pickle which does not seem to be happening. Right, let me get my... Right, here we go, I think. Let's... No. Right, hopefully <laughs> I'm going to begin my final, still not ready, <laughs> begin. So this is needle one, hopefully you can see, can't really do it on the table, here we go. So I'm now checking that I've got 84 on this needle and I'll come back to you. Okay, so there's 85 on there and there should be 84. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip that stitch there onto the next needle in case it's, in case it's from this needle. So I've just slipped that one across. So now I've got 84 on my first, 84 stitches on my first needle. Check. I'm just knitting into the back of that because I've twisted, I've twisted that stitch now by slipping. So I now need 84 on my second. So I will continue and I'll come back to you. So there's 85 on here, so I've obviously made one somewhere, unless it's from the other end, but I don't think it will be because that's my side seam. So I'm going to knit two together here, right at this side seam, so you won't notice. Um, and then purl my last one, which, surprise, surprise, I have lost the needle at the stitch off yet again. On average, I have lost, dropped a stitch on every round. Right, that's back on. So I've knitted two together on that and purled, purled one. So I've now got 84 stitches on the two needles now. So I'll go to my third set 
and check that I have got, so this is my false seam, check that I've got 84, so it's, I start with a pearl one here, pull it tight, and then begin, begin my knitting. So I'll get back to you to check there's 84 on this third side. So 80, there's 84 on this needle. So my final, my final go around for 84. I'm able to manoeuvre these needles because they're longer a lot better. I don't tend to lose stitches off the ends now, which is a lot better. They're very, very sharp though. I've got to keep getting a sore finger where I keep pushing this um, these stitches onto the end of this needle. It keeps going through into my finger. So I've lost count now. So I'll just pause, count them, get back. Okay, so I had um, 84 stitches on my final needle, so that is correct. So now I've laid out the jersey, the Guernsey, and it does, because it, it's so tightly knit, it does tend to roll over. So I'll get my tape measure to the end of there, and it does actually measure 15 and a half inches. So we're on to the next stage. Okay, so just um, an explanation about why I knitted those two stitches together so because I had 85 on, on one of the needles. That wouldn't have been important really if I was just continuing to, to knit in stocking stitch. But because I want to do a pattern I'll have to have equal amounts on each um, needle for when I put um, the eight, two of the 84 stitches together onto one needle when I move on to the just knitting on two needles where I split the front and the back and I need to have, if I'm going to do a pattern on the front and the back, I need to have the middle so it needs to be equal. So I thought I'm going to do it properly and I just knitted those two together. I don't think you'll notice because it's right at the um, false seam. So now the gusset, so I've got my pattern. I've never ever done a gusset before on, on a knitted garment. So I don't really know what I'm doing. I've looked at this um, picture here and it actually, actually shows you a little bit of the gusset there. So I don't know whether that, I, I don't really know what it does, whether it must join the sleeve somehow because it says there's no sewing involved. So I've read the instruction um, and I want the instruction for the um, knitted in the round one and all it says is the lower half of each gusset is worked in the round as part of the Gansey body, starting by increasing one stitch worked into the horizontal bar between the two seam stitches. From then on, the paired increased, increases are worked every few rounds just inside the seam stitches until the gusset has the number of stitches stated in the chart. So that means that I need to find my side seam, which is the ones there, and I need to increase in there. So I've now looked at the um, gams knitted on two needles to see what it says about the gussets there. And it says, with a pair of needles cast on one stitch, knit into front, back and front again of this stitch, continuing stocking stitch, increasing one stitch at each end of every alternate row to required number of stitches in gusset underarm given in the chart. So when I've looked at the chart, I have to have 23 stitches in each underarm gusset. 
So because on the two needles they've increased every alternate, alternate row, I'll increase on every alternate round, I think, um, and go for then. I'm obviously going to have to do that in stocking stitch because that's what it says on the two needles. So I am about to start my pattern, which I haven't worked out yet, but I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that. Um, but I think what I'll do first of all is I'm going to knit four rounds of the and then begin the um, pattern. So I'll do four rounds to see how the gusset is going and see if I'm doing that okay without have the without having the added um, the added thing of doing the pattern as well. So I will show you if I can at this position how I'm going to do the gusset. I'll just press pause so you can see the, the knitting. Okay, I think you can see this. So this is my false seam. So there's the horizontal bar. So I'm going to slip that onto that needle. Make sure I don't lose any. Get my wool. And then I'm going to knit into, I think you can see, hopefully you can see this, trying to look at two things at once. So I'm going to knit into the back of that stitch, she says. Try again. So I'll knit into the back of that stitch. I don't know if it's going to pull off easy. <laughs> you can't see that. Let's see if I can do it like that. It's not as tricky when you sat down on a settee <laughs> because you can balance everything. Right, so I've knitted into the back of that stitch. I will then do my false seam purl stitch. Continue Continue with my knit. Not holding this correctly to make it easy for us at all. Right, so I can continue on that row. So I'm not moving on to two needles yet until I, th I think the gusset has to be worked, but I'll have a read of that. So, right, so I'm going to press pause. I'll knit to the next false seam and repeat that again. Okay, so I've got back to the um, next false seam. So I'm going to purl that one up, purl the one on my third needle, and then before I purl the stitch on my fourth needle, I'm going to slip the loop, the horizontal loop, onto the needle. Like that. I don't know if you can see that. And knit through the back of the loop before I purl my next stitch my false seam and then knit knit um, needle three and needle four and then I'll be back to that false seam again okay so I'll get back to you after I've knit uh, I'll knit 
the next round without increasing then I'll increase again for my gusset again so I should have a little bit of stocking stitch to show you. Okay so I've knitted, I increased on my first round into the um, false seam for my gusset. I then knitted a round without increasing and I've knitted and I've increased again. But you can't really see anything with it being dark as well. It's even more difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit a few rounds and then I will get back to you. I'm not, I've decided I'm, I'm not going to start my pattern yet. I've looked at my instructions and I divide for the front and back when I get to my biggest increase of the gusset, when I get 23 stitches on each gusset, I then have to put the stitches from the, of the gusset onto a spare ne spare two spare needles and I divide for the front and back. So I've decided that I'm going to begin my pattern then um, and I should, I should have at least 10 inches in a pattern which I think will be deep enough. Um, and I don't think, well, I would be able to do the pattern and the gusset but I think I would probably lose stitches and get a bit annoyed. So I'll knit a few more rounds and then get back to you to show you how the gusset is looking. Okay, well I'm back and we're at the end of another week. I really, really wanted to get the gussets finished but I haven't succeeded. So unfortunately I won't be showing you um, my pattern and how to do my pattern yet because I haven't finished my gussets. But you can actually see the gusset forming now. So obviously what I think is um, will happen is I will join join those bits onto the sleeve I guess and it gives you some movement in the underarms. So, one last look. And next week, definitely the pattern for the top part. So thank you everyone for watching and being so patient. We are now a week over the six weeks that um, people say that it takes to knit a Guernsey. But I suppose they'll take a, 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 give a lot more time to it. Um, I'm going to work out how, on average how long I spe I've been spending on it. It'll only be about two hours at the very, very most. So we haven't done so badly so far. Right. Thank you for watching and see you next week.